This is a short introduction to energy in simple harmonic oscillations. Let's take the example of a mass attached to a spring displaced from equilibrium on a frictionless surface. There will be changes in speed and in spring compression. Hence, the energies involved are kinetic energy and spring potential energy. They will sum up as the total mechanical energy of the system. As the mass oscillates, the mechanical energy is conserved. Spring potential energy converts to kinetic energy and then back again. At maximum stretch, where x is the amplitude, all of the energy is in spring potential energy. When the mass passes through equilibrium, all of the energy is in the form of kinetic energy, and hence the speed is at its maximum. In between, where the stretching and the speed are non-zero, the energy is divided up between kinetic energy and spring potential energy. This is a simulation from PHET dot colorado dot edu about the energies flowing from one to the other in a simple harmonic oscillator. Let us now demonstrate the mathematics on an example problem. We have a mass tied to a spring on a frictionless surface that is initially at rest with the spring stretched at 0 0.08 meters from equilibrium. When released, the mass will start moving. What will be its speed when the spring is stretched 0 0.055 meters? Because it is a frictionless surface, we can declare the conservation of mechanical energy of the system. We will expand the terms in their variables. We simplify for initial conditions. We solve for the variable V final. We plug in numbers with units and get our results. Note that in more general situations, other energies may be involved. In this example, gravitational potential energy. One can also account for the loss of energy due to damping. 